Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Fire Red, the randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last part, we escaped that dark and dreaded Pokemon Tower. And in this part, we got the bike, so we're going to go down the bicycle road, aka Route 16. And it's going to be battling a lot of trainers, so it's not going to be helping our um, team of overpowered Pokemon. So I thought I'd get a 6 Pokemon, and I just remembered that on the fly that I wanted to do that, but then... As soon as I started the episode, I was really excited to go down that bicycle road. But I wanted to get a six Pokemon. And because, like, we need to diversify our levels. We're getting a little bit too, um, like, one-sided with the Pokemon. So we got Electric, Fire, Flying, Water, Grass, Poison, and Ghost. So I feel like Nubbers being an Ice Ground type wouldn't be too bad. So... I think Swinub will be our latest addition to the team, and hopefully he has a better fate than uh, Drizzy, because the Dragon type would have been freaking awesome, and I'm still kind of annoyed about that, but oh well. Put Sparky to the back, and we got Nubbers on the team, so Nubbers may be a good addition, maybe a bad addition, I don't know. He's just an addition that we kind of need, because we needed to diversify our levels even though they're probably going to catch up to us really quick to really quickly but with all these trainers coming up on this bicycle road i felt like it wouldn't have been a bad idea to just spread out the levels a little bit to other pokemon in the box because i feel like that's necessary and really right now all i'm doing is getting the levels on uh, my original pokemon because i don't feel like switch training so execute um i don't feel like we're ready to take care of anyone yet and uh, with the battle on set mode, not, uh, what's the other mode? Switch? No. Shift, yeah, shift. Um, it asks you if you want to switch every turn, so that makes switch training a lot easier. But right now it's a little difficult, but that first Pokemon will always give us a lot of experience on the first guy, and then the rest I guess our guys can take care of, so I guess that's a good thing, because we don't really want to switch in numbers to a really powerful hit, because I don't want it to die, I want it to stay alive so actually I think we could patter snow this guy oh yeah good job and again nice okay good job numbers and numbers are gonna be very annoying to say but we'll switch out this time cuz he did his job he got rid of one Pokemon so numbers is doing good he's doing pretty good and okay this guy has one Pokemon so that's these are the guys we want to see that's just the guy with one Pokemon so it'll be a high level Pokemon and numbers can get a lot of experience from that but we could also get a Pokemon in this route, which is Route 17, because it's different from Route 16, uh, which is up there. So let's see what we're going to get on Route 17. It's going to be a Tentacruel. Okay, that's pretty cool. We just battled one of those before. So let's go into Muppet. We'll use a Nightshade, and we'll use another one. All right. And got to find our Pokeball. Let's go for a Great Ball, because it kind of match matches uh, Tentacruel's color scheme. And I really noticed that, with like the two red dots on top. Alright, so I guess we were just about to catch this tentacruel, uh, because it was just a little bit of a brief um, interval between the two spots I've been recording, because I had to interrupt it, of course, but let's try to catch the tentacruel, and we do! Awesome! Uh, so we got tentacruel. We will call it, um, let's see. I've already got something, I don't even have to think of it in my mind. We got terror, the tentacruel, because, um... If you guys know, there was one episode of the Pokemon anime that never aired because um, the tentacles were like destroying a city, like knocking down the buildings and stuff. And I think I just thought it would be like too violent and stuff for like the oh man, it's a Mewtwo for like the little kids watching. So we gotta focus on this Mewtwo. Okay, fight this thing. Okay, good. Oh, it's fight the table. Shoot. Uh, oh, that could be so powerful. And we missed. Dang it. Alright. Mega Punch. Oh, we got that critical hit. That was scary. That was very scary. Alright. Luckily, we defeated that Mewtwo. And let's Super Potion up our Pokemon. Because we're a little injured. Um, everyone's taking a little bit of a beating. Because this bicycle road is very long. And full of a lot of trainers. So we just gotta be prepared. And be able to take out these goons. So let's try to find an antidote if we have anything doesn't seem like we do, so let's just check our berry pouch to see if we have anything to hero poison, and we do. Cool, so Muppet's all better now. And let's battle this dude right here. 
because of course you still gotta get numbers up to some level because he has to catch up with the rest of the team. He's a little he's slacking up behind the team. Well, not really slacking up, he wasn't on the team when the rest of the people were, but it would not be a safe switching if you're switching the numbers now. And two Blazing Kings, man, you are you are a pretty powerful dude right there. Uh, Blaziken is really awesome. And speaking of Blaziken, I'm expecting um, Swampert and Sceptile to get Mega Evolutions in Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, yeah, I don't think I just let it get into it. I don't know. Um, I actually predicted that a little while ago, if you remember my um, oh, Shua video. It was like my top hopes for Pokemon X and Y, when, before even X and Y came out, I said if um, Mega Charizard, I think, no, I think the Campus Stars were released. I said um, if just the Campus Stars are getting Mega Illusions, I think all starters should. And it looks like they may be doing that now, and the Kanto Starters, and as, and if, um, as expected, the Halloween starters get Mega Evolution. It's kind of unfair to the Johto, Sinnoh, Unova, and Kalos starters, so I'm thinking those guys are going to eventually get Mega, Mega Evolutions, but I don't know when would be the right time to introduce those evolutions because they don't have any upcoming games. Um, I actually did have anthers. Wow. We really passed those before. So even more trainers, and wow. With the speed button going downhill, you go extra fast. So a huge powder, powder snow, and that did nothing, even though it's times four super So let's switch out to Big Blue, and Big Blue's doing nothing either. This could build is a tank, I guess. Wow. So, oh, no, water gun's not working. And, oh, water gun's still not working. All right, let's go for that. Oh, we have black dust. When the heck did we get those? I don't even recall getting those black dust in the I think Big Blue could wear them. Because uh, Big Blue has that big bite. So that actually worked pretty well with him. So let's put those black glasses on him. Okay, good. Cool, cool. Uh, maybe we got in the Pokemon Tower somewhere? I don't know. Uh, but we got this dude here. So let's see how much numbers can take out. How many of these dudes can it take out? Not looking too good so far, but maybe if we potion up and powder snow you. Okay. We got one down and nope. Articudo, we're switching out. Nope, not going to deal with you. Alright, so it looks like this guy has a bunch of flying types. And Pidgey is down, and Yanwa. You know what? Numbers, I think we can take care of this one. Uh, maybe not. You know what? We'll just get you the experience. So, I don't know if we're going to get the experience here anytime soon. Because, oh man, what the heck is this Yanwa doing? It's just speed boosting. It's not really lowering our accuracy, I don't think. But, we have Awakenings right here. So let's wake up, go for that flamethrower, kill that Yama, and Scyther will, will flamethrower you too. You could have a little bit of a flamethrower. So we are finally made it out, and it's route 18 right here. So we have the opportunity to catch another Pokemon. And then we have an opportunity to catch a Pokemon in the Safari Zone. And I think, oops, this is the gym, I didn't need to go in there yet. And oh, I hate when this happens. You run, you get so excited to go to the Pokemon Center, but you just hop down that ledge. So I try not to do that. So I think we have this route right over here, so let's go over there. And see what you got in here, Route 18. What Pokemon would it be? It's a Ponyta, cool. Um, I like it. It's a good find. So let's tackle and tackle and tackle and tackle and go oh, no ember. I was waiting for that. So we'll go to Muppet. I don't know, just take whatever you got. And let's go for Pokeball. We caught it! Yes! Ponyta is ours. So we will call you none other than... Um... Hmm. I didn't think of this far yet. We can call you... Oh, I'm trying to think of a clever horse joke, but I can't think of anything. Hmm. We'll call you... I can't think of anything. I will call you Flash. Flash, yeah, I like it, Flash. Because Flash is like a really fast dude. No, 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 Flash, Flash, Fire. Yeah. Part Fire type. 
flash fire, and I think that's also an ability, so pretty clever play on words, I think so. Flash fire the ponyta. Um, it's already in the box, so let's actually put up Sparky to catch Pokemon now. And we also have Route 19, which we can um, fishing rod in, so I guess once we face these two dudes who have freaking Metagrosses, watch out. Oh man, and Magnetons, okay. Yeah. The steel types we gotta be worried about. Those dudes, and oh, Kyogre, okay. We'll spark you. And what else you got? Sloking, we could spark you. And let's see, anything else? Ludicolo, we can actually probably. Oh! Whoa, that was scary. I think I think Sludge Bomb would have been better. I don't know. What do I know? All I know is we got a. Where's the fishing rod? Old rod, use. Okay. See what we're going to get in Route 19. Nope, not even a nibble, so. We'll let's try to put our rod down there again, and hopefully something bites it. Oh, Pokemon's on the hook. Let's see what it is. It's a freaking Rattata. You know what? If I caught that other Rattata, we could have used Duplicate Claws, but... Oh, shoot, I didn't nickname you. Whoops. Um, I don't think where the Name Raider is. Where's the Name Raider? You the Name Raider? Oh, I thought that would have been the Name Raider. I think it's actually in... Lavender Town, so we'll we'll end the episode nicknaming our Rattata because we can't leave Rattata a name. That's just a freaking rule right there. So we'll catch Pokemon to the right of Fusion City and in the Safari Zone next episode. But for now, we have to fly over to Lavender Town to give a nickname to our Rattata because we didn't do it before. My bad, that's not the name Raider's house. I think this is the house right here. Yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy. Alright. So, in... Oh, wow. I think everyone's mail on our team right there. In tribute to the one, the only, youngster Joey, we gotta call you Joey. So, Joey the Rattata will definitely not be making his triumphant return to the team, even though he's never been a part of the team. Let's put him into PC where he'll probably be for the rest of his life. Sorry, Joey, but, you know, that happens. Happens to the best of us, even though you're not even the best. So let's take a look at Flash, Fire, and Terror, the two Pokemon we just caught. Um, not bad. He's, Terror's actually a pretty good water type. If anything ever happened to Blastoise, he wouldn't be a bad replacement. But our team is looking pretty good right now. I don't see anyone having any trouble. So with that said, in the next episode, we will be going over to the right, catching a Pokemon, and then going up to the Safari Zone, catching a Pokemon, and then maybe going into the gym, I don't know. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys 